Welcome back for the second episode of Yamada-kun. In this episode, we got a couple more names. Lurihime, the name of the guild leader, is Lapis Princess. Akito is written with Oton and the kanji for the constellation of the Big Dipper. And Kinoshita is under the tree. The expression that Yamada used to tell Akane about being selective was a Yojijukugo, a four-character compound expression, Shusha Sentaku, and it's written as Take, Discard, and Choice. When Akane was thinking about the school that Yamada is attending, the tough to get into was from Hensachi, by itself, it's the math term for a deviation value, but in this context, it comes from the expression Hensachi Kyoinku to talk about an education style that stresses studying and really focuses on test results. At the place where Akane threw away all her stuff, there were some signs on the pole beside it. One of them was about a firework show at Sakura River, and it could imply a future festival episode. And on the pole, we can see Bando, which points to her probably living in the real city of Bando in Ibaraki, on the northeast outskirts of Tokyo. And here are some smaller nuances in the translation for those interested. The strange room was Mishlanuheya, and it was in the sense of an unfamiliar room. The note that Yamada wrote in-game was Shilaneides, don't know, so it's a bit more uncertain if you really looked for it. That's all I had for this episode, and you know what to do. Like this video to let me know if you want me to continue this series, comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising, and of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff.